In 1892, 10 leaders of the immigrant community on the Lower East Side organized the Hebrew Free Loan Society. With initial working capital of $95, the society started issuing loans at 50 cents payable in 10 weekly installments of a nickel. Loans were regarded as an obligation of honor. A loan repaid meant a loan remade. The Hebrew Free Loan Society's mission is to help people become and stay economically self-sufficient. Our tool for achieving that, rooted in centuries of Jewish tradition, is the interest free loan. We are currently and historically non-sectarian with a primary focus on the Jewish community. At a time when there was no government-funded safety net, the society became a lifeline for those facing eviction, hunger, and illness. When my parents needed the money, they didn't have anybody else to turn to for getting the money to get my brother and I out of the hospital and for paying back the bills that we had so my parents were able to call the Hebrew Free Loan Society. The Hebrew Free Loan Society protected my parents' dignity and allowed them not to have to go on welfare. Society is a unique philanthropy. It fulfills one of the basic tenets of our tradition to help people help themselves. The Society's Immigrant General Aid Loan Program serves as a safety net for immigrants from the former Soviet Union, the FSU, who are struggling to get by and have no savings to cover emergency expenses. I am paying for my own medical insurance, but when it comes to my son, the insurance gets more expensive. And last year, he got sick very often. I had to go to the emergency room, and I've accumulated a lot of medical bills. So now I have that stack of bills sitting in my home right now, and the first thing that came into my mind is to turn to the Hebrew Loan Society. If you go back in time, the needs of our borrowers were very basic. Uh, paying the rent, helping pay the rent, helping buy a push cart, buying a sewing machine to start a tailoring business. These were very fundamental needs. Uh, today, I think the needs are much more uh, defined and discreet. Helping pay for college tuition, helping to meet the costs, the high costs of adoption, helping to pay for a special education. The Society's Education Loans creates investment in human capital which benefits our great city, which was built on the dreams of immigrants. The cost of higher education has skyrocketed over the past 20 years. Immigrant parents, unlike their American-born counterparts, often have not had the opportunity to save for college and are particularly vulnerable to the impact of the recession. Our Immigrant Student Loan Program helps make their children's future affordable. I received loan to send my daughter to college. If my mother would not receive this loan, I would probably look into banks or some private loan companies that would give me high interest rates and leave me with a large amount of debt that I would have a really big trouble paying off when I would come out of college. And Hebrew Free Loan Society really gave me the opportunity to further my education and to become a college student. The Hebrew Free Loan Society is not just an organization that lends money, which is wonderful, which also allows you to retain your dignity, which is wonderful, but allows the future generation to accomplish all the things that they are capable of accomplishing. The Hebrew Philo Society is a perfect storm for a next generation person. It's an organization that not only appeals to their Jewish side, but also appeals to their desire to change the world. My maternal grandfather and my wife's maternal grandfather, separately, founded the equivalent of a society. The one in Palestine in the 1920s and the other uh, in Wisconsin, in the teens of the last century. To be part of that chain is terrific. The Society's Microenterprise Program helps hardworking and self-reliant FSU immigrants establish or expand a small business as a path to economic security. The program also provides young ultra-Orthodox heads of household who are limited in their choice of livelihood by their lack of secular education with a way to support their growing families and dignity. Theirs is the only microenterprise program in the country to target these two groups. So I needed money to buy a business and when I got loan, I bought my business. I'm employed for people. Thanks for the Hebrew Loan Society. Now I'm proud to say that I am the owner of the beautiful salon. I facilitate the core business training program for ultra-Orthodox women. Core business training is a key component of the microenterprise program at the Society. The Society is really making a difference in the lives of these women and in the lives of their families. 
Our less than 1% loss rate on our loans means that the monies we receive are recycled so that with everyone's help, we will still be lending to our community for the next 120 years. High quality special education is extremely effective as well as enormously expensive. The Society's Special Education Bridge Loan Program enables parents to pay for the help their children desperately need while awaiting guaranteed government funding. I'm a social worker and in 2009 uh, Eric was actually removed from his home by ACS. I felt so strongly about our relationship that I decided to become a foster parent in order to get him out of the group home and get him into my home and uh, we actually finalized our adoption in September of 2011. Eric has been through a lot of trauma he had given up on school completely. I learned of the Hebrew Free Loan Society through Advocates for Children. The tuition at the Smith School is $40,000 a year. I mean, that's practically what I make in a year. So there's no way I could have afforded to send him to the school while waiting for the Department of Education to repay me. The loan from the Hebrew Loan Society made Eric's education possible, and by making his education possible, it's made his entire future possible. The Society's Adoption Loan Program is a unique resource for those who long to parent and can afford to raise a family, however cannot afford the steep adoption expenses. I had come to terms with the fact that I was not going to have my own, you know, our own biological child, so I'm like, well, there are plenty of children out there who need homes, so we'll look for adoption. Dave had told me about the Hebrew Free Loan Society and that it was interest-free, which was a huge plus. We went to the orphanage, we visited her there. You know, we brought her home and we had family and friends waiting for us at the airport and you know, they're so happy to see her. Five months later right. after we got our Sierra lawyer back, our lawyer called, called and us. said we have her sister. Back to Hebrew Free Loan we went. Without the loan, we couldn't have afforded, you know, one let alone two children. The so society made it possible for right. us to have our family. Your free loan society really made our dream come true. What will be in the next 120 years, we don't know, but if we keep doing what we're doing and the money revolves and circulates, we must be doing something right, and I hope we can continue it for the next 120 years. Thank you, Hebrew Free Loan Society. Thank you, Hebrew Free Loan Society. Thank you, Hebrew Free Loan Society. Interest-free loans transform lives and we've been doing it for 120 years.